name's Neville Palmer. I've worked for every major fishing company in the Gulf of Carpentaria. When I first started, if you applied for a job and you couldn't make a small net or fix a hole, they just told you to go away. It's a dying art. The fishing industry's changed. Most of them want to chase the, you know, the thrill in the Gulf. I believe without Neville that we would struggle to improve our bycatch reduction devices. These are things that you can't get manufactured overseas. You have to be prepared to fail on your journey and be prepared to stick with it until you get it right. Austral's put a lot of time in the developing a material that's really reduced on drag, but super strong, weather resistant. It's only through experimenting that they've worked out diameters, type of material, mesh sizes. We don't want small fish, small prawns, small anything. You just want something that's had a chance to breed. In the industry, they've got a turtle excluded. It allows sharks, dolphins, anything big enough, tuna, all to escape from the net. Instead of losing two, three tonne of product through damage, having all these turtles and big sharks stuck in the net with the catch, it, it increases the profitability. It makes a really big difference in the time you are on the deck. You don't have to spend another half hour trying to wrestle the 10 foot shark off the tray onto the deck then over the side without someone getting a broken leg. It's made a huge difference. Not so many people get stingray barbs through their arms. That's what I got from a stingray. Got gangrene in it and lost half my shoulder. Well, all these things don't come on the boats anymore. It's reduced all the a lot of the danger element out of it all. Thanks to the technology and, you know, we're after prawns. And if you can get rid of anything else except that, it, it speeds the process up and everything's top quality, you know. I'm lucky I work with people where if you caught anything female, like, you know, small fish or what I've been trained, if it's not worth it, you let it breed first. You've got to keep that balance. 90% of the people in the industry now are green because if, if you're not, you're not going to survive. That's, you've got to leave something for the next lot.